balls of Barry White. That, uh, that was impossible. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am your host and colonel of the Colavoche, Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube and today we are looking at the group Home Free, a vocal a cappella group and their version of Ring of Fire featuring Abby Kaplan of the Pentatonics. But before we do that, I'd like to remind you all to please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great content that we produce here every week on the channel. So... Now, I don't know the group at all. I think they're an American vocal a cappella band, and we will find out what they do with Johnny Cash's Ring of Fire. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Love is a burning thing. And it makes Whoa. a fire. Isn't that so satisfying listening to those male voices ring out on those ooh vowels at the very beginning of this song and in a free form they're not necessarily stuck to any particular meter or rhythm they're just letting those words come out and uh, letting the phrases breathe before I don't know are they gonna get into it now let's find out I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down. Wait, what? Where's the drum set? Hang on, is that a beatboxer doing that? I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. Taste of love is sweet when hearts like ours meet. And I felt <laughs> okay, all right. So they changed the mood from the very beginning, and it becomes something completely different. And they it's this mashup of styles. It's sort of like reggae with this beatbox and this southern country gospel thing. For you, like a child. Whoa. <laughs> Great balls of Barry White. That uh, that was impossible. He went from the beautiful B tenor range that was just so inviting down to like basso profondo. Incredible. Yeah, he's having fun. Look at that smile on his face. Into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. burning thing and it makes a fiery ring bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire okay so great 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 um inc wonderful technique all around all those guys are sort of they're locked in rhythmically they're doing their thing uh, obviously you know, this is a music video, so, you know, this isn't necessarily live, but this is a, probably a really fine example of what they can accomplish live. That beatboxer, that's the beatbox guy, right? That is so incredible. I am just, I always marvel at people who can do non-traditional things with their voices, and it, it's just, it's so, it's so marvelous and just reminds me how incredibly cool and awesome human beings are when they just let their creativity flow and and become masterful at what what they do um don't know his name so cool well done sir and i salute you beatboxers in general good job i fell into a burning ring of fire i went down 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 and the flames went higher. and it burns 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 the ring of fire. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. Ba, 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 ba.
not a base. Whoa, whoa. There's more, there's more, there's more. Uh, there's no more. That's it. Whoa, whoa. So much fun. It's so much wonderful technique amongst all those singers there. Avi Kaplan, of course, has a voice just like smooth butter. What an incredible bed of sonic low bass notes to just build your you build your vocal a cappella group off. Two basses. I think, you know, the interesting thing about vocal a cappella groups versus say traditional barbershop groups is that you're not necessarily confined by what barbershop is, which is, I mean, the barbershop has a lot of flexibility within it as well. But uh, one of the hard and fast rules is that every chord needs to have a seventh seventh in it in order to give it that barbershop equality. That's why when you listen to barbershop, you there's no mistaking it. You know that it's a barbershop quartet, but with a vocal a, a cappella group, you know, you want to have two basses? No problem. You want to have a beatboxer? Fantastic. And it all works. You, you, you sort of let out the stoppers of your own creativity. Um, wow. Okay. Five stars out of five for Home Free. Why? I never, they got 35 million views on this. And why am I just le learning of this group right now? And I, I don't know who the, 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 the other bass was that Avi was trading off of what his name is, but man, that low note, that was like off the piano. Like that was so low, incredibly low. I was thinking about how much longer it takes for those low voices to mature and develop and finally mellow out into and grow into the depth that their voice eventually becomes. And as opposed to some of the higher voices, which seems to develop a little bit more quickly. Some of the classical voices that I've always admired, like Bryn Terfel, you know, who started out as sort of this Mozartian, you know, bass baritone and then ended his career as Wagnerian Wotan, you know, voice of God kind of bass, basso profundo. And I think, you know, it's, there's some special consideration when you uh, when you are gifted with such a low voice that it does take a little bit longer for you to develop into what your voice's capabilities are, and it's uh, particularly spellbinding to watch two basses just doing what they do best and uh, having so much fun with it. So, yeah, fantastic, great. I'm so glad I've I've I'm a fan. I'm discovering Home Free, and uh, yeah, good job. Good job, sirs. Well done. Now, maybe you're one of those people that wants to develop your own basso profondo voice, but you need a little bit of guidance. I strongly urge you to reach out to a competent vocal coach. There might be one living in your neighborhood, but if there isn't, there's lots of us out here on YouTube Lab, and if you want to work with me, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description as well as a link to my Wizio page. You can reach out to me there. And as always, I'd like to remind you to please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on what we do here every week on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end of this video, we will see you next time.